So, Zero by the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. It starts off immediately, unlike the song we heard before that, with 16th note guitar strokes. And the singer, who is fantastic, she seems so laid back the whole time, and yet is using all of these vocal techniques that almost makes her sound electronic. It almost makes her vocals sound processed, but they're not. They are natural, and she's very talented. She's almost using Madonna-esque uh, vocal inflections and her falsetto techniques make her vocals really interesting as well. This is the start of a very exciting indie rock alt pop album. I'm sure that you are familiar with at least the next song on the album called Heads Will Roll. I know that's kind of a popular one, which I didn't know until recently, but a lot of people know that song. And I know it was a very exciting album when it came out, and I still enjoy listening to it. Uh, the album cover is actually a woman squeezing an egg and the egg kind of exploding in her hand. And it's a little abstract and kind of weird. And I never really think of it as an egg that's exploding in someone's hand. Um, for some reason, it always looked in the shape of a spoon to me. So that's just what my brain said it was. But obviously, it is not. <laughs> but it's an interesting album cover, nonetheless. Um, up next, I have my favorite band. And this is a song off of their third album, the album that really turned their reputation around and set off this cult-like following for the band. Um, this album was really popular, and it made their following album the most anticipated album of the turn of the century. Uh, but this album is called OK Computer, and the first song on that album is called Airbag. It's pretty rockin', there's some great guitar, it's before Radiohead turned to more of an electronic sound, and it's a fantastic rock album, so here is Airbag. <laughs> 